I have another holiday DIY happening today. I am going to be making some decorative holiday frames for my buffet table in my dining room. Now, I picked up most of the supplies from the dollar store. Um, I do have a few things that I think I did get from Walmart, but everything for the most part is from the dollar store. I'll kind of give you an overview of what I've gotten. So I purchased five different frames and I got all different sizes and they're all gold frames and I picked gold because I didn't want to have to spray paint them. Um, but they had all kinds of different frames at the dollar store and again all of these were a dollar a piece so I just tried to pick five different ones. The only ones that are the same is these 8x10s. I did buy two of the 8x10 frames but I'm going to do them differently. You will be able to tell a difference once they're done. Um, then I purchased this little um, gold reindeer bust figurine which um, I think I got this from Walmart and I think it was like, what was it, $1.94 from Walmart. And then I bought these gold snowflakes and this is a pack of 20 glittered snowflake ornaments and they were um, $2.98 and I got these from Walmart as well. Um, I got, um, underneath here. Um, that is just a cardinal gift bag, which I'm going to end up cutting this up. And I did this, I showed this in a previous haul that I had done, and that was from um, the Dollar Tree. Um, underneath this frame is some of these window stickers, and these were from the Dollar Tree. Again, more window stickers right there from the Dollar Tree. And then this was just some paper. I actually am going to be using some random paper that I had gotten out of um, a large um, book of like scrapbook paper or cardstock paper that I had gotten like from maybe it was Joanne Fabrics, I believe. And it had um, a bunch of different papers in it. So pretty much all of the papers I'm using today are going to come from the um, scrapbook paper that I bought from Joanne Fabric. And I think I've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, four different papers. And then I've got a couple extra papers over here. And a few of these little um, sticky sequined snowflakes. And those came from the Dollar Tree as well. And then I have some of the Fix All Adhesive Glue, which those came, this came from the Dollar Tree. And I found that this glue actually works really well. Um, I actually prefer it out of all of my other glues um, for holding projects that are um, like glass or plastic or anything like that. I find that this works really well. Um, I might use my hot glue gun. Um, as well for some things but like maybe for for gluing this guy on I might use my hot glue gun but I'm probably gonna try to use that for like the snowflakes and the other ornaments so let's get started on putting these frames together all right so I had forgotten to mention that you're also gonna need some scissors um, a ruler a pencil and a paper cutter if you have one if you don't have a paper cutter just a ruler and a pencil and some good scissors will work and it's just for cutting the paper um, you know accurately so that way we get a good fit inside the frames all right so I'm gonna start with the one of the large frames that we're gonna be using this um, gift bag for and my theme this year is cardinals so I want to cut this cardinal out of the bag and so what I've gone and done is I've taken my frame apart and I've taken the back off of it and I'm actually going to use this back as a template to cut the cardinal out of the bag so what I'm basically going to do is I'm just going to lay it down over the section of the bag I'm going to just lay it down on top and I'm going to just trace around the edge of the um, the backing and then then I'll know the spot that I'm going to have to cut out or the size that I'm going to need to cut so basically you just want to figure out about what you want for your picture and I'm thinking that that's probably good and I'm just going to take a pen or a pencil and I'm going to just trace all the way around. Sure. Okay. 
Okay, so I've traced all the way around. So now you can see um, I've got a line that shows me exactly where I'm going to be cutting. It's kind of uh, there. You can see it there a little bit. Um, but that's what I'm going to cut. So I'm actually going to use, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this first piece out of the, the bag, but then I'm going to use my cutter so I have a nice clean line. So I'm just going to take my scissors and cut like this side of the bag. I'm not going to try to, um, I'm not going to try to cut nicely or anything. I'm literally just going to cut around so I have this front of the bag cut out basically, and then I'll use my cutter so I have a nice straight line. And I like using the gift bags um, for craft projects because you, it's really nice paper and most of the bags have like really nice prints on them especially for the holidays see I have two prints on this bag one on either side so I'm gonna save this and use this possibly for another project so now I have my front piece cut out and I'm actually just gonna cut this ribbon off the top as well just so that it's I'm actually going to cut the ribbon right out. That way I can open up the bag nice and wide. There. I'm going to save the little tag. But see the top of the bag opens right up. Now I can get a nice clean cut along that line that I traced. Pull the sticky tab that hangs the bag. Pull these little sticky things off there so that doesn't get in the way of cutting. All right, so I'm gonna pull out my cutter right here. And I'm just going to put my bag in here and I'm gonna line up that line. So you know I'm gonna do the short side first. I'm gonna line up my line with my cutting line. Okay, that looks good. And now I've got a nice, clean, straight cut. So that's the top. Let's do the bottom. Do the same thing for the bottom. Just line up your cutting lines. I like using these cutters because I don't. it makes your cuts much nicer. But if you don't have one, it's no big deal. Just be careful when you're cutting. Okay. That's that. And the last side. All right. So now I have this nice piece of the front of the bag that I'm going to use in my frame. And I'm just going to double check and make sure that it fits okay. Place it face down and it fits perfectly. It fits perfectly right in that frame, but we're not done with it yet. So what we're going to do, I don't want to put it in there yet. I was just checking it. We're going to do some embellishments to this just to give it like a little bit of a 3d effect it's it makes it look a little nicer when there's multiple levels of um you know items that you're putting in your frames so we're going to use one of these gold christmas tree ornaments i love these you can get them at the dollar tree I actually did buy a bunch of them from the Dollar Tree. I just was at Walmart and I saw that they had a pack of 20 for like $3. And um, I'm actually just going to cut the little hanger right off of it because I don't need the hanger on here for now. Um, but they're nice and thin. So I'm actually going to glue this right to the front of my paper right here, I believe. 
All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of this glue and I'm just gonna put it on the back side of my um, ornament. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on each side of the snowflake just so that it stays down. And then I'm gonna just place my snowflake, snowflake right down on the front of the paper. Kinda of just push it down. And there we go. All right, so now, I think I might want to add one. This is what it looks like as of right now. I might want to add something else to it, maybe up the top. I've got these little, I've got these little sticky um, sequins. They're these little snowflake sequins, and I did get these from the dollar store as well. And you can peel the back off of them, and they get little. This is like a little sticky part on the back side. So I'm gonna actually just stick a couple of these just around the bird just almost it almost looks like it's snow falling and just gives it a nice touch and let's see I'll do maybe three or four of them I don't want it to be too busy because the print is busy as it is um, but just a little something extra on here and this is a really easy DIY. You can be really creative with this. You can do like all kinds of different um, patterns and themes depending on what your particular theme is. Um, I'm actually a stickler for liking odd numbers. I'm a, I, I have four on here, but I think I'm gonna do one more because for some reason, I think five might look better than just four. Okay, so I put five of the little sticky snowflakes on, and now I'm going to just take this and place it face down in my frame and put the back on it. And we have one down, four to go. Now I'm trying to keep, since my theme is like, um, cardinals this year. My colors are like whites and golds and just little bits of red. Um, I'm trying to keep kind of with that color scheme throughout my entire, um, you know, project here. So here's the first one. So I'm going to set that one aside. That one's already done. Now let's work on this one with the little reindeer bust and we've got this side size frame it's actually a five by seven frame but it has a four by six um, mat on the inside so I'm just going to take the plastic off and open the frame up Again, take the back off I made sure that I got all the frames that had the stand on the back I don't know if I'll be using the stand, but just in case I wanted to have it, I'm gonna take the inside out. Now here is that border that's already um, on the frame. If you didn't wanna use the border, you can just use it plain without it, but I am going to use the border. And for this one, I'm actually going to use this really pretty paper that has like old fashioned, it almost looks like an old fashioned book or an old book with words. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to pull this. Oops, I'll just leave it. I'm going to use the back again of this one for the template. And I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did with the bag. I'm actually just going to lay it down on top and trace. Lay it down on top of the paper and then trace around the back of the frame just so I have the exact right size. It makes it a lot easier than measuring. If I can get away without measuring, I do. So here we go, I've got that piece out, piece um, drawn out, and I'm gonna use my cutter. And I'm just gonna line it up. And give it a cut. And do this side. Line it up. If 
there's scrap pieces of the paper left. Um, I save it, unless it's like small pieces that I probably wouldn't be able to use. Like that, I'll be able to use that again. So I'll definitely save that. And this bottom piece, I'll probably be able to save that as well. This bottom piece, because who knows? Might find a project that I can use that. And so this is this is the piece that I have. So now I'm going to take this paper right here and I'm just going to put it in my frame. Now I'm not going to be putting anything else on the front of this paper um, like I did with the other. So I can go ahead and put my back on right now, which is what I'm going to do. Make sure your words are facing the right way. And I'm going to put my backing on and I'm also going to heat up my hot glue gun because I'm going to hot glue this guy on. That might take a second to heat up. But I am going to hot glue this guy on the front of this frame just like that. So I'm going to take the tags off. Okay, so my glue gun is heated up and so I'm going to just put some hot glue on the back side of my ornament and I'm going to be generous with it because I don't want it falling off. And then I'm just going to line it up where I think it looks best and just press it right onto the front of the glass. Just like that. So there is number two down. So now, while I was actually waiting for this hot glue to warm up, I was deciding on what I wanted to do for the third frame. Now, for the third frame, I'm gonna be using this reindeer right here. Um, and it looks like he's kind of leaping, a leaping reindeer. So what I had decided was I liked this material on the side of the bag and it kind of brought out the color in the other picture that we just did. So I'm going to use this as our background. So I'm going to just, again, take the back to my third frame and lay it on top of that um, side paper and trace out what I want to cut. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now and this cutter I actually got from Hobby Lobby for like I want to say it was like $15 but then I had a 40 or 50% off a regular priced item so I ended up only paying like $7 for it so if you can get one of these and you're doing a lot of crafts I highly re recommend getting one of these because it's super helpful when you are cutting um, paper. All right, so line that up. So there is that piece. I'm sure that fits. Yep, that fits perfectly. All right, so we're going to take it back out. And I'm going to open up my package of window stickers. I love the Dollar Tree's holiday like stickers and um, I don't know. I just think these are really nice. They're like a nice thick quality. I'm going to just pull this guy right off. He's already sticky and ready to go so I don't have to put any glue on him. I'm just going to center him right in the center of my paper. There he is like that. Now, I think I might add a couple of these little snowflakes as well. Let's see. One in the top corner up here. Maybe another one. Put another one here. And to tie it in with the other, I'm gonna actually take two of these small little guys and I'm gonna put two of these ones on as well 
I like to mix and match. Let's see. Put one down here. All right. So that's what it looks like. So now this is all done and going in the frame. And the back is going on. And so there we go. Number three is done. All right, so we have two more to go. I have another large frame down here, which I'm gonna open up. And for this one, I have a large piece of white cardstock, and it's got a little bit of a, um, I don't know if you can tell, it's got a little bit of a pattern to it, and it's got just a little bit of a shimmer. To the paper so this is going to be our background paper so we've got our frame back that we're going to use as our template yet again we've got our paper that we're going to use and we are just going to I'm actually this paper is square so I'm going to actually line up the corner of my frame border with the corner of the paper to save cutting to also save paper I'm just going to line that up so that way I'll only have to trace two sides rather than all four sides. And then I'm just going to go ahead and trace. All right, so there's my two sides that I need to cut. If you're tracing with a pencil or marker or pen that makes a dark line on white paper, it's a good idea to just undercut just a little bit so that way you don't see that blue line on the piece of paper that you're using. So I went ahead and undercut just a little bit so that that line is gone. So here is my background paper. And again, I'm just gonna check and make sure it fits in my frame. And yep, it fits perfectly. So now we can go ahead and add the embellishments. I have a question. Okay, so I cut out a small piece of this gold foiled paper with the leaves on it. And I'm gonna use this as a center piece for the large white background. Now before I actually put the tape on the back of this paper to stick it to the large background paper, I have this little corner cutter that I'm just going to use and this just gives a little decorative of a corner. So I'm just going to use this to cut out some decorative corners for this paper. Make sure it's in there and I don't know if you can see, it just makes a little decorative corner. All right, so now I have four decorative corners and you can probably see it a little bit better when it's on the white paper background. And I'm gonna just take my tape adhesive and just run a few strips of tape on the back. All right, and then I'm gonna center it onto my background paper. I'm just doing this by eye. You could measure it if you want. I'm just doing it by eye. So there we go, we've got it on the center of the paper. Now I have this other little reindeer guy that I'm going to put on the front of this. take him and we're gonna stick him right on the front here I'm gonna kind of make sure he's centered and there we go he's on the front and I'm gonna add a few more of these snowflakes I'm gonna put this big one up here in the corner so I put that up there Got a couple smaller ones. Gonna put one smaller one here. And again, I'm gonna use a couple of these little guys. I actually might take one of these out. 
as well. So this is the other pack of those window cling stickers that I got from the dollar store. These ones are a little bit more white. So let's see, maybe take a small one. There, added a little small one up here. And then maybe one more down at the bottom. Jameson's playing here in the background. Okay, so I added another one down in the bottom right here. And I don't actually think that I'm going to add any of the little ones now that I'm looking at it. I don't want it to be too busy. So I think that's good. I will go ahead and put this in my frame. There's that guy right there. And now we have one final frame to do. And that's this little small three and a half by five inch frame for this frame. This frame also has a small little border that I'm going to keep. I'm just going to keep that right in there. For this frame, I'm going to use this pretty little um, cardinal paper. I'm going to pull the template back out and I'm just going to use the template to find a spot of the paper that works well. Just We just want the paper to show through the front window so and we don't want it to be crooked so I'm just looking for a piece that's going to work well and I'm just going to mark it on the back so I know where to cut. Now this piece fits nicely behind that border. And what I'm gonna do to stick this paper on, I'm gonna go back to my little sticky tape here. I'm gonna just go around the edges as close to the opening as I can get with this paper adhesive. And this stuff again, I have this in, I have like three or four of these on hand all the time, but I got this from Hobby Lobby in a four pack and I believe it was like seven or eight dollars and I used a coupon for it. So anything that's full price at Hobby Lobby, um, I always try to use coupons for. Okay, so now I'm just gonna stick that paper down to the sticky part. So now it shows through the front just like this. Now I think I'm going to pull some more of that gold color and I'm going to use maybe another one of these, another one of these snowflakes. Cut the, cut the little hanger off of it. And I'm going to glue it right to the front, just like that. Get my glue here. And we'll put some on the center and then just a little bit on. You don't need much of this stuff. A little goes a long way. And then I'm just going to line it up with the center of the paper. And just push it down. Okay. So this is what it looks like. And that one I'm all done with. Super simple. Put this one in the frame. And we are all done, guys. It was that easy. We now have five Christmas prints that are custom made for decorating this holiday season. Oops. I forgot to put the backing on. And I'm going to show you what they look like all done and all together downstairs. All right, so there's that one. Really pretty. All right, I'll show you what they all look like. All right, guys, so here they are. I just put them out on my buffet table, which this is where I'm going to be putting them. Um, for my Christmas decor 
and this is what they look like. I think they turned out really nicely. I will probably be putting a few maybe candles and some greenery in and around them, but for the most part, I think they're really nice and festive, and they're all a little bit different. Super easy to make, and um, it only took maybe total 15 or 20 minutes to put all of them together, and it wasn't very expensive. It was probably 10 or $12 to make all five of them. So please give me a big thumbs up if you like this video, and sub subscribe to my channel. And uh, be on the lookout for many more DIYs this holiday season. Hope you have a great day, guys. Take care.